Hi you guys and welcome back again to my video blog. This time I have a new device that I um, quickly want to show you how it looks like and uh, after that I want to show you how it works. So I have a, uh, a new home. This is the living room. It's now completely open. So I can do whatever I would like to do or install whatever kind of system I would like. Um, before I tried Homesear and I tried Vera and I tried Domotix. Um, but that wasn't really the system for me. Uh, now I bought the Home Center 2 from Vibaro. I didn't do that at first because uh, I found the system uh, quite expensive. It was 550 euros for this device. And the other systems like Homes here, you can try it for 30 days. Domotex is free, so it's even better. And the Vera was 130 euros here in, uh, in Europe. After reading a lot of reviews and had uh, some demonstration at a uh, company here in, in the Netherlands, I decided to give it a try to buy the Home Center 2. Uh, I have some uh, devices around me that I have bonded already with the Vibaro system and I would like you to show um, how the systems work with this Vibaro system. I also want to give you a quick look uh, to the application you can find for your phone. So Vibaro has its own application. So I'm gonna, gonna show you it as well. It is the Vibaro home system. Um, in my first experience I see that uh, the Vibaro system um, really looks nice. The interface, the pictures, um, everything from the from the software is in my experience very nice compared to other systems like Vera, Domotix or Homesear. Um, so um, about the device, this is uh, what you will find inside the box. It's the Vibaro home system. You will get a LAN cable attached with it and also the power supply. What I found really weird at first was that uh, you have to put the power supply into this hole but uh, if you can see it on the camera the plugs are uh, at this side so you first have to remove the screws from this side, pa side panel then open it and there you see uh, all the connections and then you get the power cable and let's see if I get the right adapter this is the right one so you um, first make the cable through the hole and then uh, you can connect it and after that you just have to uh, leave it like this so it's now attached and you can close the side let's get it out first you also see a USB cable um, I read in the manual that this is for the backup of the system it's, it's just a flash drive but you have to leave it inside, so um, they specifically said in the manual to not remove it when you uh, power on the system. You connect it using Ethernet, so you also have to put a plug right inside this device and attach it to the Ethernet port inside the hole and connect it. Then you have several lights on the front and this means uh, the system is now booting so by just pressing this button I can now control the lights I also added these first buttons you can just add any button to control the lights if you are on the phone you have this, this panel if I go to rooms it's in Dutch now but uh, it's the same and I go to the hallway and we can also enable the light we can also use the button and we can also use the mini mode to control the lights um, and also in this program you can see the temperature that it is coming from this device so um, it's currently saying that it's 21 degrees if we take a look at the screen we see that it's now 22 but you can also see it's adjusted right away in the application. 
the temperature is rising because I have it holding in my hands and the temperature will go up um, even more and we also can see the I'm not sure if you can see it but there is a set point on the screen it is now 17 degrees if we adjust the temperature in uh, this device you can see that it's also adjusting it in the screen um, you can also control it from your application so you can say I want to change the set point and you can bring it to another temperature like 90 degrees so this means that um, if you are remote not at your home you can uh, enable the heaters at your home already setting it on the temperature that you would like to have this device receives that and enables your heating system in your home well thanks for watching again uh, i hope you liked this video if you like it please give me a thumbs up in